is given x square divided by 50 is equal to 50 divided by x square. We have to find out the value of x here. How we can find out the value of x? Let's see solution. So here question is x square divided by 50 is equal to 50 divided by x square, right? We can do here one thing, we can do cross multiplication. So x square times x square is equal to 50 times 50. 50 times 50, right? Now, we can write this one x square whole square. So it will become x power 4 is equal to 50 square, right? Now we can write this one x square whole square minus 50 square is equal to 0. Now this is the form of a square minus b square formula is equal to a plus b times a minus b. Now here a is x square and b is 50. So we can write a plus b that is x square plus 50 times x square minus 50 is equal to 0. Right now we got here two equation. First one is x square plus x square plus 50 equal to 0. First one or next one is x square minus 50 equal to 0. x square minus 50 equal to 0. Right from here x square plus 50 equal to 0. So we can say value of x square is equal to minus 50. Now we can Consider here if x square is equal to minus, uh, sorry, if x square is equal to a, right? If x square is equal to a, then if we are taking here uh, square root of uh, x square, so we will get here x is equal to plus minus square root of a because we have to take both side of square root. So we are taking both side of square root. So square is cancelled from square root and it will become here plus minus square root of a because there will be positive and negative both uh, value here in square root. Right. So here we can say x square is equal to minus 50. This is given, right? So uh, when we are taking here square root, we will get here x is equal to plus minus square root of minus 50. So here x is equal to plus minus. Now square root of minus 50. So we can write this one 25. 25 to the 50. Why we are taking here 25? Because uh, 25 uh, 5 square is 25 that's why we are taking here 25 we can take here square form of 5 so 25 to the 50 times minus 1 this one minus 1 now x is equal to plus minus square root of 25 times square root of 2 times square root of minus 1 now x is equal to plus minus square root of 25 is 5 square root of 2 times square root of minus 1. So value of minus 1 is value of minus 1 is equal to i square. So when we are taking in a square root so we will get here i square. So square is cancelled from square root right. So it will become here i. So we can say value of x is equal to here we will get plus minus 5 square root of 2i. So we can say here value of x1 is equal to 5 square root of 2i x2 is equal to minus 5 square root of 2i now we have to uh, we have to take next equation that is given here now x square is equal to minus uh, minus 50 right x square minus 50 equal to 0 this is second equation now we have to solve this one so we can say x square is equal to 50 here taking square root on both sides we will get here square root of x square square root of 50 square is cancelled from square root so x is equal to we can write this one plus minus sorry plus minus plus minus square root of 50 so plus minus square root of 50 now this 50 we can write 25 to the 25 to the 50 so x is equal to plus minus square root of 25 times square root of 2 now x is equal to plus minus square root of 25 that is 5 square root of 2. This is the value of x here. So we can say value of x3 is equal to 
because we uh, again got here two value of uh, uh, x that is positive uh, 5 square root of 2, 2 and negative 5 square root of 2. So x3 is equal to plus 5 square root of 2. This is the value of x3 and x4 is equal to minus 5 square root of 2. Now let us verify for uh, value of x3 that is 5 square root of 2 because this is positive value so we can uh, verify for this one and you can uh, also verify for another one so let's verify question is x square divided by 50 is equal to 50 divided by x square this is question now we have to substitute if x is equal to 5 square root of 2 now we have to substitute this value here. so 5 square root of 2 whole square because this is the value of x whole square divided by 50 question mark 50 divided by x square again 5 square root of 2 whole square right now 5 square root of 2 so we can write this one 5 square times square root of 2 whole square divided by 50 question mark 50 5 square square root of 2 whole square right now 5 square so it will become 25 and square is cancelled from square root so it will become 25 to the 50 where 5 square is 25 times square is cancelled from square root 2 divided by 50 question mark 50 divided by 5 square is 25 times square is cancelled from square root 2 now 25 to the 50 divided by 50 question mark 50 divided by 25 to the 50 so 50 is cancelled from 50 here 50 is cancelled from 50 so we can say 1 is equal to 1 therefore we can say LHS is equal to RHS so value of x is equal to 5 square root of 2 this is correct solution for this equation same way you can verify for 5 square root of 2i 5 square root of uh, minus 5 square root of 2i and minus 5 square root of 2 and you can comment me thank you